Our big story tonight, we've now confirmed that the sixth grader found dead today in a Xenia school was an 11 year old girl. Police are investigating reports of her unexpected death and new at 11 tonight. Alexandra Lewis takes us live to Xenia with the very latest. Alex. Jack Deb, I talked to a school administrator at length tonight and he tells me plainly out of respect for the family, they're not going to release any details about how this girl died. Central Middle School was dismissed at 2 o'clock today. The reason for the dismissal, the most devastating possible, a death of a student inside these walls. Xenia Community School sent us a statement tonight. Today, sadly, we lost one of our prized possessions, a student at Central Middle School. The incident was not the result of an assault. Out of respect for the student's family, we will not be releasing any additional information at this time. Just kind of breaks your heart. Uh, it, it kills you. Charles Adams raised two kids through the Xenia school system. Today, our, our youth and our kids are going down such a, a dangerous track right now. Xenia school officials said emergency personnel responded in a timely and professional manner, and they are working closely with the police. I mean, you don't want to jump to conclusions because you don't know the whole story. Retired Xenia school bus driver Denise Paxson took the news hard. Being a bus driver or being a school teacher or anything like that, you get to know these children and stuff. So that's why I think it's very sad that, you know, she, she didn't go to somebody. At this time, there's only speculation and rumor surrounding the girl's death. But the tone through the community is the same, solemn. I just pray for her family and everybody that, you know, they, they can get through all of this because it's very sad. Officials tell me school will be in session tomorrow and they're working overtime trying to get the best grief counselors they possibly can to be on hand here today and throughout the week for all of the students and staff that may need them. Reporting live in Xenia tonight, Alexandra Lewis, ABC 22 News.